everybody welcome back to my channel and if you are new here welcome to the channel and today we have a little bit of a larger to move crafting haul um, I have quite a few diamond paintings that I ordered. Um, I do have one paint by numbers and um, some diamond painting accessories. So I'm going to try to move it along today so we're not trying to make this a longer video. I am doing this video for a second time. I had already edited this. I was about to upload the video and by accident I deleted the wrong video. And deleted the whole video so now this is the second time I'm recording this so I am at my wits end today <laughs> it's one of those days you guys it's one of those days so I'm gonna try to move through this um, there's there's gonna be a, uh, a couple items that I don't show um, I'm gonna just show the diamond paintings um there's a couple crafting items that I'm not gonna bother show um, the last uh, video that I did the first time around um, were some decoden items. Um, it was like some frosting bags, uh, two two mirrors, um, and some bow like little velvet bows that were like charms just for my decoden crafting. Um, I didn't pay that much for them. Uh, I think I got the mirrors. They were like little handheld mirrors. I got them for a dollar forty-eight. I got the bows for a dollar forty-eight, and I bought some lace, ten yards of lace, black lace for a dollar twenty-nine. I'm not really gonna add that in. The last video was like an hour long. I I want to keep this strictly diamond painting. Um, after editing the video I just couldn't believe how long it was so I'm gonna keep this strictly diamond painting and paint by numbers so um, I'm gonna try to move through it quickly because I don't want people to get frustrated that this takes forever so um let's just get started and get right to it first diamond painting I got now, I know I said in other videos, which I haven't made that many because I just started doing lots of crafting on this channel, um, I like Disney diamond paintings. That's what I gear towards more. I love Alice in Wonderland and Little Mermaid. Those are my favorites. So those are the ones I'm probably, you're gonna see the most out of. I didn't pick Little Mermaid this go around. I went more with Alice in Wonderland theme because I am trying to fill up my bedroom wall with Disney stuff. So this is an Alice in Wonderland themed diamond painting. So you have the Mad Hatter. Uh, you can't really tell because you know until you put diamonds on it you really can't tell because all the letters and stuff on it. But here's the cat, the rabbit, here's Alice, and the queen. And they are sitting like at a tea party. I thought this was a nice take on Alice in Wonderland. I like different takes on Alice in Wonderland. I don't just like the classic. I like different renderings of Alice in Wonderland. It doesn't have to look just like the classic. So this is a 40 by 30. There are 24 colors to this rendering. And let me let you know how much it was. This, I paid $4.68. Here are the drills. I'm not gonna take out the drills because I'm trying to keep everything wrapped up until I'm ready to kit up and um, get everything ready until I'm ready to, um, you know, do the diamond painting itself. So it just keeps everything nice and neat in the drawers until I'm ready to um, set up. And it comes with your basic drill, um, your drill kit, your basic um, kit which is, you know, your pen, your tray, your tab of wax, and this one comes with some baggies. So, let me roll this one up. I am running out of space. I have to get more drawers. I am running quickly out of crafting space. I just purchased drawers over Christmas break for all my nail supplies. Now I need drawers for my crafting supplies. 
Okay, so like I said in the video before I had deleted it, this is one of the ones that I don't know if I am disappointed in. It looks a lot different than the picture. Sorry if you hear my chair squeaking. It needs oil. It needs Jesus. I don't know what it needs. It just squeaks when I move it. So I might have to move it back and forth so you might hear it squeak. Um, this is a tattooed Tinkerbell. You might be able to tell a little bit better on camera than I can tell in person. Here are her tattoos. Her black dress. She's got tattoos on her legs. So, but you can't really tell, like, her hair is super bleach blonde in this. Um, and I still, for the life of me, even though I just did this video, I can't figure out what it's called. But in normal diamond paintings, here, let me show you. You just see the letters. See? There's no circle around each individual letter. In this one... There are the circles. I don't really like diamond paintings with the circles around them. Training wheels. There you go. There's the training wheel circles. Um, I don't like it because I am not a perfect drill placer. I don't place things in a straight row. You know, I don't focus on being perfect when I'm placing drills down. So I'm a little nervous about when I am placing drills on a painting like this, that if I don't get it perfect, you're gonna see the sides of each circle and it's gonna show in the diamond painting. I'm a little nervous about that. Um, hopefully it doesn't. We'll see, time will tell when I do the diamond painting. I'm still gonna do the diamond painting. I'm not gonna knock it down before I do it. Hopefully it turns out beautiful anyway. I'm still gonna try it. So, this diamond painting was $5.48. Now, like I said in the video before I deleted it, um, if you are shopping on to move for diamond paintings, if you type in Disney diamond paintings, you might get lucky and some Disney diamond paintings might pop up. But these diamond paintings I am showing you, they are not necessarily under Disney quote unquote diamond paintings. They are under diamond painting cartoon girl, um, cross stitch girl, uh, cartoon girl, I see a lot, diamond painting girl, you really, make sure you have, when you're going to sit down and look for diamond paintings on Tamu, make sure you have like a half hour, an hour to sit down and, and really type in diamond paintings in the search. And just sit down and look just just scroll down and look girl because you will not you'll be surprised on what you find when you're just scrolling and scrolling and scrolling lots and lots and lots of stuff will pop up um, different renderings classic renderings of Disney stuff and then different takes on it will pop up um, but it will never because of copyright, I am assuming, it will never really say Mickey Mouse, Tinkerbell, Belle, Little Mermaid. It will never pop up as what it was, it's supposed to say. So you will never find it in a search engine in that way. Just if you're new to diamond painting, just, just the heads up. Um, you will never find it like that. So it did come with the drills. I'm going to keep it like that. It does also come um, with the tool kit. All my toolkits, since I already, you know, um, did the video, some of them are in the drawer already loose from this. I put them separately. Some of them are wrapped up with the um, diamond painting. So let's unwrap the next one. Oh, that was also a 30 by 40, if I didn't tell you. Here's the next one. It's a 30 by 40. It's another Tinkerbell, another take on Tinkerbell. And this is like a big wide-eyed girl take on Tinkerbell. She's got the fring bang fringe, the big eyes, and she's got the classic green dress. This is 21 colors. You have your toolkit. And here's your drills. 
21 colors if I didn't say it already and this one was $5.98. Now this one says Cartoon Girl Cross Stitch Rhinestone Painting. So see, you're, you're not going to really find it under Tinkerbell Painting. And this is a 30 by 40. Let me roll her back up. And she also has, if you can see up close, has the training wheel circles on it. So she might be another one I'm a little nervous about when I when I start this diamond painting. Okay, here's one I didn't do my research on. It's really super important when when you're um when you are shopping for diamond paintings. Do your research, guys. Do your research read des descriptions really well um i don't know why i thought this was bigger it's okay i'm not upset um this is perfectly fine this is supposed to be a gift for my mother um she's doing a beach themed bathroom when she has her time um to remodel and let me bring it up on my computer screen this is a 20 by 30, has 18 colors. This one doesn't have the training wheel circles on it, so thank God for that. And let's see if you can see the picture. That's what it's supposed to look like. Has nice blues and some pinks. Diamonds, toolkit. And this one was $2.19. And in this, um, option for this beach diamond painting it came with six different options of other beach diamond paintings of different styles so you have six to choose from with different seashells on it um they have heart shapes in it um they have different types of seashells sea stars um they have lots of other pretty ones and they're all the same size let's move on to the next sorry for moving fast guys i just after recording for an hour and just editing for an hour i wanted to get the film up by a certain time and i'm i'm just super i'm done <laughs> here's another 30 by 40. it's another alice in wonderland she's a big eyed girl and this one is she's with the talking flowers. She's got the Cheshire cat in it. I love this one. She's got her classic blue and white dress in it. This one has 20 colors in it. You get your tool kit. And you get your diamonds. Nice. Tons of colors. Drills look good. I, I was looking over the jewel uh trolls, the drills really well um while I was putting them away earlier. And they don't look like they have a lot of trash in them. They the drills look pretty pretty well. So let's find a price on her. So this is a rhinestone diamond paint cartoon girl kit and she was $5.98. Really, really beautiful. I, I can't wait to hang these up on my wall. See the sparkle. Okay, on to the next. Now this one, I was super excited to get it in the mail and look at it in person, but you can't really tell what it looks like in person. This one's supposed to be two, like, colorful pastel parakeets. Let's see if you can see the thumbnail a little bit. Hopefully you can tell. But a lot of pink. I am a pink girl. I am pastel purple. It's a little pixelated. But we'll see. Hopefully it looks different with the drills down. I'm going to give it a chance. I'm gonna, not going to knock it before I do it. So here's the uh, tool kit. And here's the drills. Nice and pretty and pink, purple and peachy. Oranges and blues. Nice and super bright. Just the way I like it. I love bright colors. So there's 19 colors in this kit. 
and let me let you know how much it was. Let me skim up. $4.18. And this one is called a set of rhinestone diamond paintings with bird patterns. Really cute. This one's for my kitchen. I got plans. I got plans for all my diamond paintings. <laughs> None of these are going in portfolios, you guys. These are going all over my house. So here is a classic Allison in Wonderland. I was so happy to see this. And this is a stained glass uh, look to it. This is a 30 by 40. Let me bring up the price. <laughs> Excuse me. 24 colors, stained glass. Here's the Cheshire Cat on it. Classic Alice in the middle. And here's the White Rabbit with his clock really pretty nice and clear drill field lots and lots of colors see the diamond nice and bright you get your toolkit with a couple baggies in it and they charged me four dollars and 48 cents and this is a diamond painting of a girl so you know it doesn't even say Alice in Wonderland on it even though it's clearly Alice in Wonderland <laughs> So I think I, I just I can't wait to see this. So now I have I have different takes on Alice and I have a classic Alice in the Wonderland. Really pretty. They are coming out more of these stained glass ones of Disney characters. I might have to collect them all because I've been seeing them on different websites. <clears throat> okay so let me roll this one out this is a sideways this is a 30 by 40 so you see it I nose you can already tell this is a face of a cat in rainbow colors 24 colors to this diamond painting super clear drill filled I probably won't even need a light box if I do this during the day if I didn't say, I don't remember, um, 24 colors. You get your toolkit, your, your diamonds, nice and vibrant. And price on this cute little cat. Now this is a gift for my sister. She's a cat lover. Where is this cute cat? $3.98. Mosaic cat. And it just has a big long description. Rhinestone diamond painting, manual DIY suitable for adults, and it goes on and on and on. So it's just something you gotta really just search for. If you type in diamond painting cats, I'm sure this will come up along, along your search. And that's it for diamond paintings. Let me show you my my one and only paint by numbers that I got it came with a set of three brushes and I don't know what you put um you use these to hang up the canvas if you want to screw it comes with screws you hang them into the wall I will not be hanging it into the wall that way I I might be looking for a frame if I can find one big enough here are the numbers, the painted, uh, the numbered paints, say correctly. I get a little nervous by the size of the pots because I am heavy handed with art, pro uh, art products I use a lot. So by looking at the canvas, the numbers are super clear, nice and bold, nothing is faded. Let me get the picture so you know what you're even looking at. This is what you're looking at. This is will be the finished painting. A cute little cow with her little flowers and a nice um, faded wood in the back, vintage wood in the back. 
in a teal color. This is for my bathroom. So don't ask me why my bathroom is cow themed. I don't know how it went to a beach theme to a cow theme. It, it just did. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I've been finding cute cow theme diamond paintings and stuff all over the place. And now it, my bathroom is turning into a cow theme. But um, this is nice and clear. Yeah. Um, the ones off Amazon weren't as clear. Um, I tried to start that diamond painting and I was really struggling even with a light box. So this one looks a lot, lot better. And let me find the price. And this is a DIY acrylic painting kit, flower and cow oil painting by numbers. So this is a little confusing. I don't know if it's acrylic paint or oil because it says it's oil painting by numbers and it also says DIY acrylic painting kit. So I don't know if it's oil and I don't know if it's acrylic because it says it's both. So I will only be able to tell when I start painting by how it, how quickly it dries. So. You know, that's that's a little, you run into this problem when you shop on these websites. Um, they put everything and anything in the description box and they tell you it's a little bit of everything and you don't know what you're getting. So, so we're coming down to the last, I think, last two items and then I'll let you guys go. I got a cute little drill pen. My diamond paintings fall all over me. I normally use drill pens this thick that have a multi placer at the other end because I multi place um, big areas. I don't like the single place because it just takes too damn long. I don't like to spend all day doing that. But I just couldn't resist, even though this is a single placer, um, I couldn't help myself. I just thought it was cute. So I got this in purple. I originally went for the pink one, but because Tamu took so long packing and sending out my order, the pink one ran out of stock before they even got to ship. So they refunded me and I went back and bought the purple. This is $2.48. And ooh, a bug. And the other pen I got was a key. This is really, really lightweight. This is a single placer with a cap. And where was the... Let me see the price of this one. Here it is. This was 98 cents for this one. So this was super cheap. I probably only will be using this on smaller projects. Probably not on larger projects. Um, just my itty bitty projects I won't be spending too much time on. Oh guys, I missed the diamond painting. My bad. This is a small one, so this whole will be really, really quick. This was another one of me not doing my homework. This is a 20 by 20 of Jack and Sally. 16 colors. And this one costs $2.38. So this is a little snack size. So this is something I probably use my one placer on because it's not going to take me that long. I'll probably use a multi-placer on the outside, but a one placer for all these smaller areas. It won't take too, too long. So, and here's your little drills. It did come with a toolkit also, but it doesn't have a lot of colors in it. Only 16 colors. And I think I only have one more item to show, which is the most important item for me as far as diamond, diamond painting is concerned, are these. This is what I keep my drills or diamonds in. This is a 28 grid um, 
I don't know what else would you call. Let me see what they call it on here. Twenty twenty grid uh, diamond painting collection box. There you go. Dropping things everywhere, guys. I'm a disaster tonight. Okay, so tw uh, 28 grid diamond painting collection box. So I have four of these. This is how I separate my drills, diamonds, whatever you want to call them. Um, this is how I stay organized while diamond painting. It's just easier than keeping them in baggies. I mean, some ladies or, or gentlemen, whoever likes to diamond paint, they like to keep them in baggies. You do whatever is best for you, however you like to stay organized. Um, for me, this is easier and I feel like this is more secure because not only are the diamonds closed in this way, but they're also secured this way, you know, through the outside of the box. So the box is closed twice once you put it away for the night. So this is just more secure so I know once I put it away for the night, my drills aren't being spilled everywhere. Baggies are just a little bit unsecure for me. I just don't trust it. Um, and just, this is just easier, you know, this is, see, this is a prime example. They're numbered one through, this, this particular set's one through 18. And I, I, it's easier to find things this way. And it's way faster than rifling through zippy bags. Um, but you you do, once you start diamond painting, if you're new to it, you're gonna find what works best for you. Everything works differently for everybody. So, but um, one of these I paid a dollar 29 for. I found uh, one before it was on sale. The other three I found during a sale and I found them for a uh, for 98 cents. And I'm just noticing now that one is broke, which I might have to send back. I didn't know. See, broke on the, on the back side, which is unfortunate. But anyways, that is it for tonight's video. I am done for the night. Um, I hope you enjoyed tonight's haul. There will be more hauls coming. I did order more diamond paintings. I do hope you have a nice day or night wherever you are, and please like and comment, subscribe if you enjoyed tonight's video. Have a great night. Thanks. Bye.